Hello, I'm Sean Hellman and I'm going to show you how to find the volume of the piece of wood and also its price. I have two pieces of wood here, one is a piece of wainy edge oak, as you can see um, the sapwood is still on here. And this piece of um, ash, which is a uh, square edge. First we want to find out length of the piece of wood with the oak. It's five foot long. And we have to take an average here between the widest part and the narrowest part up here. Um, most sawmills will take into account the sapwood, especially if there's a lot of sapwood. So uh, it's approximately six at the top, ten at the bottom. So let's say all oh, about nine, which isn't a particularly generous measure. And of course, it is uh, two inches thick. And uh, this is the piece of ash here. The width is exactly eight by one inch by six and a quarter feet. So what we need to do to find the volume of that piece of wood is to times the length, which is five feet by two inches by nine inches and that gives us a figure of 90. Divide this by 144, press equals and that comes to 0.625 of the cubic foot. So if our wood was being sold to us for 32 pounds a cubic feet, we times this by 32 which gives us 20 pounds. And of course, most of the time we need to add that. So times this figure by 1.175, which gives us 23 pounds 50 pence. So this piece of ash, the length, as we said, is 6.25 feet. So that's 6.25 times the thickness, which is one, times 8 inches, which is the width here, which equals 50. Divide by 144, and that equals 0.347 of the cubic feet. I bought this wood for 24 pounds a cubic feet, so times this by 24 equals 8.33, times by 1.75, for the VAT, and that equals nine pounds seventy-nine pence I paid for this piece of ash. To find the metric volume of wood, you go to my website www.shawnhelman.com and go to the articles section where I explain all this in far greater detail as well as other hints and tips about buying wood.